Hi everyone, I'm Ramsey Jones, and this is Jonesing for Food, a channel dedicated to putting money to waste on food. For breakfast, I'm going to Pascal and Beverly. This cafe has handmade exquisite desserts, delicious croissants, and baked goods. I am taking my breakfast to the Beverly Hills sign, where you see the hotter than Beverly Hills housewife like button. Yeah, so I don't have any plates to tie up rocks, so it's a little awkward because he's tied to my ankle right now. Anyways, I had to get this donut that was filled with Nutella. It sounds like a match made in heaven to me. And it looks so pretty too. It's pretty awesome, like you would expect, right? It's a donut filled with Nutella. That's basically what it is. And it's a very nice donut, it's very soft. The Nutella is just right in the center of the donut. So I had to take a really big bite to get to it. I kind of wish that the Nutella was just kind of a bit more filled throughout the donut. That would be kind of nicer. It's a very high quality donut. Yeah, this donut is as pretty as Beverly Hills. Kind of matches everything around here. Everything's super nice in Beverly Hills, by the way. It's so much different than some other parts of LA. It's so crazy the disparity between some areas of LA. It's like you're in a different country or something. So I got this apple crumble tart thingy. It looks pretty awesome. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is pretty great. It's uh, filled with apples. It's got this nice crumble on top. The uh, crust on the outside is uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty buttery and flaky. Oh, I'll get this again in a heartbeat. Yeah, no, I definitely recommend getting this thing. I don't. That donut was great. Like, you can't go wrong with a donut and Nutella, but it wasn't amazing. Uh, so I give the donut a 15 out of 20, and I want to give this a good 16 and a half out of 20. For lunch, I'm going to Nate's and Al's. This is a popular quintessential LA deli, serving the finest pastrami, smoked fish, matzo ball soup, and other hearty favorites since 1945. I am taking my lunch in front of Beverly Hills City Hall, where you see the rocks is begging you to subscribe button. Okay, so I'm excited about having this. I've never had matzo ball soup before. I always thought matzo ball soup was a mozzarella ball in a soup, but it's actually made from matzo meal. And I was like, what is matzo meal? And it's, that's made from matzo bread. They grind up matzo bread and then they put it in ball form and they mix it with egg and some butter or like some sort of fat. Yeah, and then I'm like, what's matzo bread? And matzo bread is just some unleavened bread that they uh, make with flour and they don't put yeast in it. That's another thing about unleavened bread. They don't put yeast in it. I had to look that up as well. Anyways, it looks like just a big giant dough ball in a soup. So it's basically kind of like a dumpling. And it's a pretty basic soup. It just has carrots and noodles in it. This place is known for the matzo ball soup. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's just basically a dough ball in a not that flavorful soup to be honest i'm going to try it with the carrots and the noodles here oh i actually don't really understand this at all it's very plain maybe it's supposed to be plain like this the matzo ball tastes like oatmeal just mixed all together and like condensed and then put into a soup let's try another bite I, uh, what the? <laughs> 
I can't even fake an oom um sound for this. It came with these bagel chips. Oh yeah, these are awesome. It gets pretty uh, soft as soon as you put it in the liquid. Mmm. Yeah. That's a real oom um sound. Okay. I'm gonna give it one more bite. And then I'm gonna rate it. Yeah, maybe I just don't like matzo ball soup. But I'm gonna give this an eight out of 20. She said the chicken pot pie was amazing and it looks pretty awesome. The, the pastry looks so flaky on top. Okay, I got an extra large bite here. Oh, oh yeah, this is great. I'm loving this. There's so much flavor there. The gravy in this uh, chicken pot pie is just so savory and looks like they give you a lot of chicken in this pie. Oh yeah. Oh, there's so much more flavor here. This is, this is fantastic. Oh, the pastry is nice, light, and flaky. It's your typical chicken pot pie, but just done very well. And it's got the peas and the carrots and the chicken and awesome gravy. This is a really big bite. This is a Mark Wiens bite. <laughs> if you don't know who Mark Wiens is, he's the top food reviewer on YouTube. I want to challenge him to a competition of ooms and a competition of who can take a bigger bite. That guy takes massive bites. I, I think he might win that competition, to be honest. It's so beautiful in Beverly Hills. Apparently, Beverly Hills has the best weather in LA. It's got its own like microclimate. It's far enough away from the beach that doesn't get the fog during the winter, but it's close enough to the beach that it doesn't get too hot like the San Fernando Valley does and uh, downtown LA. So that's why a lot of people really like to live here. Maybe they like to be close to the chicken pot pie too. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the chicken pot pie. That's what I would live here for. For dinner, I'm going to Mastro Steakhouse. They are recognized for their combination of world-class service, highly acclaimed cuisine, and live entertainment. And it's one of the 11 places in the United States where you can get Kobe beef. Kobe beef is actually Wagyu beef from the Tajima strain of Japanese black cattle. The meat is a delicacy, valued for its flavor, tenderness, and fatty, well-marbled texture. I then ran with my $240 steak to Rodeo Drive, where you see the high-maintenance like button. This is definitely one of the crazier things I've done, running around Beverly Hills with $240 Kobe beef, but I think it'll be worth it. And I think this uh, background looks pretty sweet as well. Oh. Holy cow. That is just the perfect response for eating this type of beef. This must be a holy cow. Holy. This thing just, just melted in the mouth like it just as soon as I put it in it just disappeared I have never had anything like this before in my life Boom. I'm having like a, a spiritual experience right now holy oh mm. they seasoned it just nicely as well and uh, you can tell it's it's a lot more fatty than your typical cut of uh, beef. Oh, <laughs> I might go back there and order an even bigger steak and spend like $800 on this. It might be worth it. They uh, cooked it medium rare. That's what they suggested, which is kind of interesting. Usually I like to have my ribeyes medium because there is a lot of fat in there. And if you get it medium rare, sometimes it can be chewy, but this is perfect the way it is. I wouldn't have it any other way. I say I almost wish they put a tiny bit more salt on it. But you know what? You can really taste the meat flavor in it and that makes it awesome. It's a juicy 20 out of 20 Jones score steak. Oh man, I just realized they gave me some more salt. I should have done that. I should have put more salt on it. Oh well, it still tasted pretty damn good. So I'm having a very decadent meal tonight. This lobster mashed potatoes looks very rich. And they give you some pretty big chunks of lobster in here. Looks like it's just covered with butter, which 
I'm not gonna complain about. Got a reasonable size bite here. Oh. That's wonderful. That was one of the best pieces of lobster I've ever had. This is pretty tasty. It's a really nice lobster. I, I think it tastes fresh. I'm no lobster expert. I'm not really a lobster. I'm not really an expert with a lot of things, to be honest. I just know I like good food. Mm. <laughs> I think there's a heart attack right here. It's just old butter, I think. The uh, potatoes are very nicely mashed. The, the more like whipped potatoes. It's pretty awesome too. I'm gonna give it an 18 out of 20. Damn it, I really wish I saw that saw earlier. That would've been kinda nice. Oh well, I'll just have to go back there and have the bigger piece. I'm gonna like withdraw, spend all my life savings on that steak. That's probably a good idea. I hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to waste your money on food so you can keep jonesing for food. <laughs>